Welcome to a brand new episode of Around Ramadan, the program that explores the many aspects of what it's like to celebrate this holy fasting month throughout Kuwait. This week, we'll be highlighting the many social and cultural activities that encompass this month, from the iftar tables of multinational Muslim communities to the elaborate and colorful spreads at the local exhibitions. Join us as we learn what Ramadan looks like right here in Kuwait. The Ministry of Information flares through its annual events that take place in Ramadan. And tonight, Around Ramadan program covers such an event. It's the annual Ghabga Gala dinner, which is under the patronage and attendance of His Excellency, the Minister of Information and the Minister of State of Youth Affairs, Sheikh Salman Al Hamoud Al Sabah. We are covering such an event to highlight how Kuwaitis from different walks of life appreciate and glorify such social gatherings. Let's see how it's, everything goes about. I'm really impressed by Ramadan in Kuwait. Uh, I've certainly celebrated Ramadan with friends in Africa, but in those countries they were maintaining the discipline of Ramadan in a country that was not majority Muslim. And so it's really been interesting for me to see everyone switch over and observe all of the practices for Ramadan as an entire population. It's really been fascinating. I was very pleased to be invited by the Society for the Guardians of the Disabled to a Gargaan that they had recently, and I really enjoyed that. That's the first time I've participated in that type of occasion. Ghabgas actually differ from other Ghabgas. Uh, the, the, the beautiful thing here is are, there's a lot of artists and superstars of Kuwait whose legends in Kuwait 
um, and uh, the atmosphere is very very Ramadani you know like uh, the de de decoration and the screens people wearing jaka people uh, children playing and something clapping and saying something cool tell them walad hum yalla like uh, this and we are enjoying our time it's very different yeah. ramadan is kind of getting people together you know so that's what i like most Here comes the end of the segment of Around Ramadan, and we are really grateful for the generous invitation of His Excellency Sheikh Salman Hamoud Al Sabah. Now, let's move to another Ghabga Gala dinner with my colleague Sarah. One of the major rituals practiced here in Kuwait by Kuwaitis during the holy month of Ramadan that is not observed in any other Muslim country is the tradition of ghabka, which is a meal that is served between iftar and suhoor. And the first deputy premier minister of foreign affairs, Sheikh Sabah al-Khalid al-Hamad al-Sabah, has invited all of Kuwait's diplomatic corps to come and celebrate with this occasion. So let's take a look and see how they enjoyed their time here. I am new here. I just arrived three months ago, and uh, this is my first Ramadan. But uh, it was a quite interesting experience for me because during the Ramadan time, I could visit a couple of uh, uh, families, uh, local co communities every evening. So I can meet the local people and, and the and the, the every kinds of people here and then it was a good experience to understand the local culture and the, the Kuwait culture. So it's quite good experience to me. Well, whenever I visit uh, Diwaniya, uh, they serve uh, uh, Kuwaiti sweets and tea and 
uh, Arabic copy, and not only the, uh, the those drink, those copy or tea, but also they give us uh, their uh, very kind mind. I mean, they would like to share with uh, with me uh, uh, their their minds and heart. So, which is uh, very important for me and uh, as an ambassador representing Korea to promote our Kuwait and the Korean relations, which is very a good experience for me. And uh, this is real the people's diplomacy. I think it is very nice opportunity to meet here with my colleagues and uh, the Deputy Prime Minister and the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Sabah. It's a tradition for him to uh, invite the diplomatic corps every year for this kind of gathering with our wives. I uh, hope that we will continue to do the same thing for the future, next years. Wish all the best to Kuwait, uh, to His Highness the Emir of Kuwait, Crown Prince Prime Minister, our Minister, Minister of Foreign Affairs, and all of the, Kuwaiti, uh, the people of Kuwait, peace and uh, security and stability. Yeah, I think the, the, the most important is the visiting the Diwan Yard. I think it's unique in Kuwait, and uh, we have the opportunity every, almost every night to make groups to go to visit some Diwan uh, meet the people, different, different kind of people from the Prime Minister until uh, different uh, nationality also, and uh, what we call the Gabra, Gabra, which we, we are invited some from time to time by the Kuwaiti. Friends, I think it's unique, and uh, I hope that they will continue the same thing. Yeah, they organize, but we have very, very few community. But we are about 150 person only. But from time to time, we meet in my house as the ambassador or in one of our our Senegalese community. Today, we are here to say to to say to our His Excellency the Minister of Foreign Affairs and the people of uh, uh, Kuwait, uh, our brothers, uh, Kuwait and people, congratulations for Ramadan. And really, we are happy uh, to be the, uh, here and to share this uh, good moment with them. And as you like, as you know, that uh, Ramadan in uh, it's uh, the same in uh, different Arab countries, but uh, with some differences. And I think uh, I, I really uh, I'm here since uh, eight months, and uh, I was surprised because uh, Kuwait has some specificities in, in this uh, month especially with Diwan yet and uh, uh, with this um, uh, huge uh, social relationship between people, between uh, the government, between his uh, Amir, Highness the Amir, and uh, with people. And uh, uh, really, especially by night, Ramadan by night, it's, it's a life, it's, it's another life in this country, and we are happy to share this uh, good moments with, with, with uh, our brothers here in Kuwait. We have, uh, you know, families change the visits, uh, especially family and friends, but uh, uh, we don't have the tradition of Diwaniyat. Diwaniyat is a very good tradition in Kuwait. It's kind of, of, uh, of small apartments. And uh, as ambassador to Tunisia, I'm happy to, to visit to, uh, different uh, Diwaniyat and uh, to, 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 to discuss with them uh, about many, many, uh, many things. In Tunisia, we have some specificity, of course. Uh, uh, Ramadan, uh, it's, it's the life of, life. Uh, we have a very rich life uh, culture, especially by night. And uh, uh, the, the second of Ramadan also, uh, we, we um, um, let's say, uh, uh, life in, in, in nightlife uh, is very, very active and people uh, exchange the visits between them.
Although this program aims to shed light on the different multinational communities living in Kuwait and how they celebrate Ramadan away from home, it is also important to see these communities experience the Kuwaiti traditions and rituals. And now we've just seen the Rabka ritual, which is one of the most popular traditions here in Kuwait. Now we're going to go take a look at another very popular tradition that is always practiced annually during this month, and that's the Girgaan Festival. One major part of the Gulf region's traditions during the holy month of Ramadan is the Girgaan festival and it is especially important here in Kuwait as well as infectious as the whole country tries to celebrate it in various ways from families to organizations, institutions and governmental bodies. We are here at the Sman Diabetes Institute who have collaborated with Kuwait Diabetes Society to organize their annual Girgaan celebration. So let's take a look and see what they have set for us. The Nutrition Department at the Sman Diabetes Institute, or DDI, in cooperation with the Kuwait Diabetes Society, held their annual Girgaan event for children with diabetes and their families in Kuwait, an important tradition in the Gulf region during the holy month of Ramadan, where children dressed in traditional costumes are given special sweets and candies. This uh, actually uh, this is not the first time we are doing this, and we have been doing it in the last few years in order for bringing the children that some of them are diabetic diabetes they have diabetes to start learning certain things that they need to do and not to do in their life so we are very happy to see them that the number you have seen a lot of them coming with the parents and they are enjoying the evening and i'm very happy to see that we have the pleasure at the Sman Diabetes Institute to host this Girgaan event in, uh, in uh, cooperation with the Diabetes Kuwaiti Diabetes Society. And we mean in this event to have children with type 1 diabetes attend this event to learn that they can be leading normal lifestyles, they can enjoy life like all other kids, they can be physically active, they can choose to eat healthier food, yet enjoy life. So we have uh, cultural activities, we have um, uh, some kinds of games, we have a show here, a magician show, and a little musical play that uh, children, we hope they will enjoy. We have uh, all the characters children like, like Jasmine, Aladdin, and, uh, and um, Cinderella and the Prince. And then we have uh, photography and uh, crafts uh, section. and. Um, we would like them all to be part of it. All kids will go out with a gift and they'll uh, give away of a Girgaan bag which revives the tradition. The Girgaan bag has uh, different candies, chocolates and nuts, healthier option of these versions and with, it, with uh, and in some information about uh, the carbohydrate content in their food so they know how to handle their dose with what they're eating. Also, we have screening for people with diabetes or if they just want to check their blood glucose levels. And we have um, volunteers from Sawaidna Group from Kuwait and Mustajid USA who are helping out in this program. But we have a special team of, um, of uh, student ambassadors. These are students who are studying abroad and opted to learn a little bit more about diabetes and intern at the Sman Diabetes Institute. So I have five special students who have helped a lot in this event, along with my team of nutritionists who had worked diligently uh, to make this uh, event a success. And we thank even the administration of the Sman for supporting us to have this event happen. The event, which aims to instill awareness on the alternative ways to enjoy Girgaan and other similar events, was characterized by teamwork from both DDI and the society, as well as youth involvement from Kuwaiti volunteer youth groups and the Sman Student Ambassador Program, thus reflecting a unified Kuwaiti society during this holy month. The event was brought to life by several activities for all age groups, including games, performances, henna and face painting, balloon making and interactions with various traditional Kuwaiti characters related to Ramadan. Finally concluding with the distribution of Girgaan gift bags and prizes to all the attendees.
As you can see, it is a very popular event and one that is loved by all the children as they dress in their traditional clothes and collect their bags of sweets and nuts. Now let's go take a look at how other institutions and various bodies here in Kuwait celebrate this annual festival. Kuwait's National Council for Cultural Arts and Letters selected the National Library of Kuwait to host its public Gurgaon Festival for this year. The head of the consultative committee of the National Library of Kuwait, Dr. and author Kafi Ramadan, announced in the press conference that the event this year was organized not only for children but also for the adults with valuable prizes with the goal to inform the public about the various GCC authors of children's books and various other intellectual productions that serves the children mainly. Dr. Ramadan also thanked His Excellency, Minister of Information and Minister of State for Youth Affairs for his full support to the library, which is considered one of the important cultural beacon for all cultural productions that preserves the national heritage of Kuwait and the rest of the Islamic and Arabic legacy. قرقعان وقرقعان بيتك صير ورمضان عادت عليكم صيام كل سنة وكل عام قرقعان وقرقعان بيتك صير ورمضان عادت عليكم صيام كل سنة وكل عام يا صبيان يلا قوموا يا صبيان يلا قوموا يا بنيات يلا قوموا هل علينا رمضان بدا اليوم القرقعان هل علينا رمضان
hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Around Ramadan. Join us next week as we continue to explore how other Muslim communities practice and celebrate this month throughout Kuwait. Thank you for everybody who participated with us in this episode, and thank you for watching.